I've shown the inside corner and how to hit the screws. Now I'm going to do a flat seam. This is uh, the edge of the drywall that's tapered. I hang the drywall vertically so I'll get these joints like this. I really don't like the butt joints that are on tapered too often. I want to avoid those as much as I can. These wind up being a lot flatter. So I got my mesh tape here this time. I'm going to run that from the top right down to the bottom. Like I say, the benefit of this stuff is that it sticks right on there and then you don't have to lay in a bed of compound before you get started. I'll run it right down to the bottom and then cut it off with my cutting knife. On this joint I'm going to use the trowel. I'm going to put a big hunk of compound on there and trowel right into the depression covering the tape. I get it in there and then I'm going to screed off as much as I can but it will be very close to level with the surface of the drywall. As with the other joints it's important to get this as smooth as you possibly can on the first coat. This one's really easy though. All you need to do is run your trowel down and it smooths it right out, nearly flush with the surface of the drywall. I prefer to use the mesh tape in most flat joints, except for this type right here. This is a butt joint. I really couldn't avoid it. I wanted to save a sheet. I didn't want to make all these cuts. So I have a butt joint here. The first thing I did was I beveled the edges of the drywall so I have a bit of a channel here. And what that does is it gets rid of the uh, furry edge that might be on the drywall that will pucker out and <laughs> create problems. Also, I like to use paper tape with these because after it shrinks back, it actually shrinks into this slot here that you have and it makes it easier to finish it. I take my paper tape, measure it out to the right length. Then I'll lay in a bed of compound, put the tape in that, screed off the excess. Then I can put a thin coat on top of that. Since I've already put all the drywall corners on in this area, I thought I would do a little bit of a sample to show how I put these metal corners on. I start with a scrap that I've actually taken and bent to be accurately 90 degrees. When you get a drywall corner, it's quite a bit less than 90 degrees. That's so that it will um, you know, stick out past the corner of it. But if you're careful with your framing and the corners that you're putting this on are relatively square, you don't have to be that far out. You'll be putting way too much mud in there. So this is what I start with and I use that to mark my corner. I put it on there, flush like that, flush on that side and I just use my pencil to make a mark. And then I come down maybe 16, 18 inches again, make another mark. And I do that all the way to the bottom. So that will be a guideline for when I put the actual corner on. So here I've got a piece of corner that I'm going to put on. I'm going to start on one side and I'm going to get it lined up with the marks that I've made. And I'm going to screw it in place right on those marks. And then if I've got too much space in between, I'll add another screw in the middle. 
Now on the other side, I'll push the corner over until it meets my marks and drive screws to hold it in place. You'll notice that I'm driving screws through the edge of the corner, very close to the edge of the corner bead, rather than using the holes that are there. What that does is it pulls the corner bead in tight to the drywall and it doesn't leave any uh, amount of it puckering out. Wherever you have screws, you want to put them opposite each other, very close anyway. So if you have a screw here, you want to put one over here. And any place where it's sticking out a little bit, you can come back in and add more screws. With the corner installed, that leaves you just enough space to get the mud in. When you run your knife down, you won't be hitting the screws, you won't be hitting the edges. It'll bridge the gap between the bead out here on the edge and the drywall that's in here. To fill it up, I put some mud on my trowel. I swab it in with my four inch knife. So kind of rough and overfilled. And I clean up my trowel and I come back and I trowel it off smooth so that there's no excess there at all. And I can do both sides the same way. I get a little bit on the corner here, just run that off with the knife. In areas that get a lot of traffic, a lot of uh, furniture being moved or whatever, the drywall bead can often get hit. I like to reinforce it in those areas with tape, the paper tape again. Just cut pieces or a full length wherever it needs to go. Stick it in the stuff that I already did. Then take my four inch knife, hold it on the top with the trowel and press it in. like so, and that really strengthens the corner. Then I'll just go over it again with the mud and the trowel.